People say that good food is all about presentation, so we should be able to use the power of LED lighting to improve it, shouldn't we? Let's see what light can do. For this experiment, we'll need one heroic chef with nerves of steel and a knob of butter. We'll also need about, oh, I don't know, 20 food critics. Now, while they're busy eating, I'll let you in on a little secret. These foodies think they're here to compare two different chefs. One cooking today, the other tomorrow. But there's really only one chef. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. That's <laughs> you, Jimmy. The only thing that's going to change on the second night is the lighting. So any difference in flavour will be purely in their imagination. Let's see what they think of tonight's offering. My carrots look a bit sad. The garnishing was, was, was appalling. Right, enough talk. Let's have your scores, please, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, two out of five. Well, as always, tomorrow, wink, wink, and chef number two. Right, this was yesterday. This is today. Oh, 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 see what we've done? Much better. I wonder what effect the new LED light will have on our foodies. Well, here they are again for more free food. I liked how the colours in general popped a bit more. The asparagus looked greener. I, I wanted more. Well, that sounds pretty tasty, so let's see the scores. Hey, four out of five. That is way better than yesterday, isn't it? Here's chef number one. Boo! Go on. Oh, and here's chef number two. Oh, stop clapping. It's the same chef. So, there you have it. What makes a great chef? Great LED lighting. Seconds, anyone? 